Okay, YouTube, we're back. Uh, I'm getting ready to put the J rail on. Uh, that's this end right here. Sorry, I'm doing this with uh, phone camera. Uh, J rail goes on here like this. And let me show you the uh, problem that uh, I've come across. This S seam right here, you see how that bows out right there? I shouldn't have any trouble putting the rail, rail on this. I'll just maybe do some extra caulk. Okay, on that, once I tighten that down and hammer it down a little bit with a, a mallet, not a hammer. Um, but what I found here on this uh, bottom S seam is I had my um, diamond plate go up underneath here. My diamond plate was very thick. It wasn't able to mash this down quite enough. So my J rail going over the top of this was bowed way out. So what I'm going to do is I went ahead, instead of using my diamond plate on here, I'm going ahead and using a, a piece of aluminum, uh, I think 0 0.63 thickness. There's a little right there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on here. I'm going to line line this. Um, I'm going to take my butyl tape and go over the top. Once I put screws in along here, like I've done up along here, I'm going to put butyl tape all along the edge here. Covering over, making an L all the way down here with my butyl tape, and then I'm going to put my J rail on. I've hammered, not hammered, I've uh, secured my uh, uh, my top rail up here. All right, so I've got this on. I used the existing rail that I had uh, on initially, and uh, uh, I'm using that over. Just a hint. Uh, once you go to fold this aluminum over, you're going to need to uh, uh, put screws in as you fold as you go up first. Otherwise, you're going to get a little cup in here. No matter how tight you pull it up here on the top, you're going to get a cup. So you're going to have to put screws in along the side. At least I haven't found another way. Okay, that's it for me right now. I'm going to. Uh, pick this back up once I get my J-Rail on. Uh, oh, one more thing. Let me come down here. Underneath this front cap that we just talked about, I'm going to be putting these Tex uh, screws in, self-tapping screws with the waterproof seal. These right there, they got a nice little O-ring on there. And then what I'm also going to be doing is I'm going to be using the spray liner liner over the top of this. Uh, and then we'll go from there and see how that turns out. Okay, YouTube, we'll catch you later. Bye.